Okay, so there's a lot of talking that we need to do here now. Yes, and we also get to uh, decide who lives and who dies. I'm okay. Well, who lives and who star or who lives yeah. and who starves? It's a kitty. A it's a kitty. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> You're an idiot. Well, <sighs> you were pretty brave. When now we know that the zombie apocalypse was not natural selection, because that one would be. Catch you later, duck. Bye, Lee. As you would all know, it's a cat. <laughs> Sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Mm. Yeah. Um, giving out food, what should I do? Handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. I'm making a lot of choices for the guy who isn't the leader. Well, what should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Wait. There's some... that's, the, that's the ball. And yeah. Gear to have something to keep them occupied. Is there not something else over here? Or uh, not unless you go into the fence. Then. I guess I'm thinking about Larry, Louis's uh -huh. dad, or whatever. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. You should stay here? Or... <sighs> Post this sound like a smart idea. I like to bolster up the guy that feels like he's going to be the... Oh, the host does sound like a smart idea then? Because he wants to go to Savannah. Like yeah. Idea. And he does have a boat. Thing. I know that it is. That is true. I'm taking my family. <clears throat> he's going to be... He's going to leave, and then what will be? we be left with? Lily and Larry. I'm going to say... You couldn't go the other way? Is there not a way past Kenny? No. No. These, these fixed camera perspectives kill me. I know, we need like a flashing light. Oh, we can go this way. Oh. Well, I can talk to her, I guess. Uh... We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. Yes. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Alright, so... How much food do I have? You have ten rations. No. Oh. This is different. Will you hold the damn oh, okay. steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this <clears throat> already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Much. <sighs> I 
Uh, Lily and Kenny need to get along. Talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Let's just leave him. Lily wants to ditch the new people. I don't I care what he thinks. I'll just explore all the all the dialogue yeah, options. Right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. That's what I expected. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Who are you writing you down? Take it? How many people are here and who yeah, I'm getting to? Thing for a bit. Wait, I missed that. Give axe to Mark. Yeah, that's hey, Mark, that's thanks. That's hey, a better you're idea. The one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? You're the one who wants to fucking kill me, Mary. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. <laughs> that was a good choice. Yay! I'm glad that didn't come to bite us in the Alright, I think we've talked to everyone at this point. Yeah. So... I thought we had four pieces of food, unless I'm... It looked like four pieces of food, but I'm suspecting people are gonna give some... get some crackers. Alright, so... Um, Clem and Duck should get some food. Alright. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, which uh... one? You, you should know more about feeding kids than I do. I don't know. <laughs> it's, we're on emergency rations here. Half an apple, crackers and cheese. That seems Why like don't we all give them. the kids the, the half an apple each. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> yes. All right, okay, so now I'm... give Duck half apple too. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Oh, there are three pieces don't... of food. Yes. Right? So we get crackers and cheese, I guess. Yeah. Actually, I think I had two packs of crackers and cheese. Yeah. Oh, man, so... I'm so hungry. All right, so. <sighs> I hate Lily. Give her some food. Lily? The got girl up top. She's looking out for us. She needs the food. That is actually a smart decision, despite the fact that um, we hate her. Give her the jerky. Because <laughs> you're a jerk. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I know it doesn't. You're still an asshole and. I hate Larry. I'm not giving him jack shit. Okay. <laughs> ben is too new. I'm not giving him a damn thing. I'm not certain we need it yet. We seem to be fine. Um, we already gave ducks some food, so we can either give it to either Kenny or Katja, or we can give it to Carly or Mark. And Mark seems to be really weak. Oh, oh so yeah, that is right. I forgot about that. Without food, they're the ones that need it. Now that you mention that, I wonder if I miss like some clue that we needed to give it to someone else. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Now he's going to be jealous. Not such an easy job, is it? See, see that it's empathy okay. thing you're doing? You're still Can you just for me. do that all the time? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. 
Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. <laughs> I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. He's like, my You're boy, out. Eat. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Is he doing? He's just Fixing setting the RV. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, come here, please. Boys that hey, I can Mickey trust. Diddy. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go. Yeah. Go, Katja. But. He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. And yes, he is, unless you toss him outside the wall. Kid. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey! It was an easy quick time to do. Things are fine. Whoa! Oh! I don't think I have to. Hey. <sighs> Forgot I need to use uh left stick to get away. Crawl off oh. the truck. Crawl off the truck. Crawl off the truck. Ow. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Why did they just assume it was bites? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Um, We're all infected? Because it's airborne. Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Um, we don't want any trouble. Sure. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Only Why gets... do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Go to the dairy? Feels bad. I hate people just sneaking the fuck up on us, but we're out of food. So, go to the dairy or stay here? I'm pretty certain a lot of people are going to be mad if we just stay here, so let's go check it out. 
You've got a deal. I was gonna say, I have a feeling the game would kind of push us to go to the dairy otherwise. Change, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes. Are you sure? Hint, hint. This is a Deus Ex Machina. We should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. A lot of food has been away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's a smart leader. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. You seem to be siding with her more, which is... I'm trying to waffle as much as I can. She's a bitch, but... Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to Well, I, I trust Kenny more than her because he seems to flare up, but she is, uh... It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Of course it does. I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether it does or not. It will to them. I've on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in Macon, I guess. Yes. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor. <laughs> well, I'm Northerners. Over there. It's a democracy. democracy. That is a lie, but... Looking out for each other. It's the closest that. thing to what I would actually answer. Out there fighting each other these days, it's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. We have to defend ourselves. Enough Why would we not ourselves? tell well, him? It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all. I don't want him to know our numbers. Like I said, we got plenty of food. I don't trust any right. of these people. We could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. Oh, of course. Out of anything. You and Gary are always okay. pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They are. And you guys will keep it There's up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. Yeah, and you know what? He up. ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Yeah. You. He's coming back. No, no, he got shot in the head. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Wow. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Now here. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They well, until the end of this episode, anyway. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. This is a brilliant setup. This is a really Almost say we can't have the kids around the fence, but that's quibbling over... Touched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth we can manage that. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. 
They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. We all work together. Plus we've got is she a prepper? Yes, yes she is, it looks like. <clears throat> here. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Is that all? Apply. You want yeah. to go back? Yeah. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing biscuits. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Too good to be true. For milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully, Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick. What she? We have a vet. Zombie cow. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been. We have now been upgraded to potential allies for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry. Oh, I was trying to figure out like which one's the vet. Oh yeah, pet. Yeah. Danny. I completely forgot what she did. That's why she's being our med. Why don't I head back yeah. to the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. Nope. You wanna play this? Let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent. Mending a swing is not exactly the, uh, right. the first I'll thing. My eyes open. And you find do during a zombie apocalypse. No, but it does, it does, they've got some, okay, we're gonna pause this and say, thankfully we have reached a pausing point. Dear God, a lot of shit happened in the last minute. Yep. <laughs>